and sisters. Today we're going to be making box cake. Yes, if you didn't see our last video, we made cookies. And we would recommend watching that video because in our opinion, we feel like that was really funny in our opinion. And before we start this video, we will be giving out a shout out. To our cousin. Yes, cousin, if you're watching this, we're giving you a shout out. <laughs> You know who you are. Yes. So Though she said not to give any information, so. We're not going to say her name or anything, but we'll just say she's a girl. Yeah. Now let's get on to this video. This recipe calls for three eggs, but instead of three eggs, we're going to be adding six, because that's how ma many eggs we make. Well, I use whenever I make this box cake. And also and makes it moist. Yeah. And it asks for half a cup of vegetable oil, so we're going to use vegetable oil. And it asks for one cup of water, but instead of water, we'll be using milk. Red tab, you can use any kind of milk. We like red tab and blue tab, but we're going to be using red tab for this video. So let's get on to making the cake. So first I'm going to take off my ring because I do not want it to get dirty, so we'll just put it over there. Um, since... Um, on our cookie video, I, um, was the one that put the cookie mix in. My sister, this time, will put in the cake mix. Yes, and I do not, today I do not wear any jewelry, anything, so I do not have to take off anything. So, I'm going to be opening it. This is the batter. Or cake mix. Sure, whatever you want to call it. So I just made a hole, a pretty big hole, because this cake mix is pretty thick, so it would take longer if it was a small hole, so okay. look, I'm already making a mess. <laughs> Professional okay. bakers, don't come at us. Yeah, we're just children. We're doing this for fun. So, um, my sister can add three eggs, and I'll add the other three eggs. So, I And like yes, of course, our hands are clean. Yes. And if you're going to be doing this with us and following the steps instead of reading the box, then we would recommend you guys probably asking for permission, guardian, or parent um, oh, permission first. And then um, I would also recommend... You guys also um, washing your hands because we always like washing your hands before and after, especially when we're cracking eggs. Yes. So I already cracked the three eggs. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Or like, this is kind of hard. Uh, kind of embarrassing. Oh, that one was a bad one. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to go wash my hands real quick. So, be ready. So, as you can see, we added the six eggs. Now, we're going to add milk. We don't usually do measurements. We just eyeball it. Well, I do because I'm usually the one, only one that makes this type of cake. So, I'm going to just eyeball it. I'm usually the one that cooks. Well, I don't cook. I just cook, like, eggs and stuff. Um... Just like certain things. My sister's usually the one that cooks pastries, but usually, like a regular parent, my mom usually cooks, of course. So now we're gonna mix it and we're using an electric mixer this time. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, this may be a bit loud, so warning headphone users. And also, you guys can put down your volume if you guys don't want to hear the loud sound because we are going to be using the electric mixer. So, I'm just warning you guys. So, we'll show it. So, I'll mix it a little bit and then we'll pause it and then we'll be back once it's ready. So, no. <laughs> done mixing it I'm um, just showing you the consistency it should be or at least look like so it should look like this so this is a cake pan we're gonna be using um, my sister melted some butter 
I'm just gonna use a cooking paintbrush and she's gonna um, like butter each surface because we don't have the cooking spray so yeah well the butter my sister actually melted so credit to her um but yeah i'm going to be doing three and my sister's going to be doing three because we're going to do this in team because this is both our channel so we're going to be doing that this is the butter you can't really see it but i'm gonna just take a little bit not too much now she's gonna butter it. And yes, you can use cooking spray, but since we're out of cooking spray, we're gonna be using butter. Yeah, butter and cooking spray works. Don't forget to leave a like. Yes. If you wanna follow us on more adventures, you wanna see us with more cooking fails, cause why not? Oh, and we're also really sorry we kept saying things like you should comment, hashtag sister squad, and the comments were off. It's because, like, we are, we're all, we're learning because we're new to this, so. Yeah. We are sorry. We will be trying to figure out how. And I will be moving on to the next one. It doesn't look really oiled, but it is. Yeah, see. Yeah, now you can see it. Pretty glossy. Okay, so am I just going to do this one now? I'm going to add a little bit more. And I'll show you when we're back. As you guys can see, they're fully glossy. And now these three my sister will be doing. And yes, they are um, flowers. But yeah, my sister will be doing them now. So she will do the honors now. I will give her the butter. The butter. <laughs> so I'll be taking the butter. Patting it. Again, I say, professional bakers, cooks, don't come at us. We're having fun. Yeah. It may not be good, but at least we have fun. <laughs> yes. Um, one thing I do suggest is we usually use cooking oil, but today we just didn't um, have it. So if um, if you have cooking oil, oil, if, no, like cooking spray, I mean, um, it would be easier in our case because it's like faster and like you won't have to do what we're doing right now, buttering each and every single one because um, cooking spray, it takes less time, it's easier and you can use whatever type of cooking spray you want, same as the butter, but right now we're just using melted butter with the cooking paintbrush because... Um, we just don't have cooking spray. And we will be back. This is the fully glossy, um, all finished product. My sister is modeling it. Yeah, so now we will be putting the cake mix, the cake mix into each mold. And if you guys want to know where we got these, we actually got most of these things from the Cake Boss website. Um, they actually work pretty well. And usually when we order stuff online or whatever, it never comes, they usually never, ever, ever work. But in this case, I am, Cake Boss's things are actually really good working. So if you guys wanted to know where we got it, we got it from Cake Boss. Yeah. But our mom got it, so we can't tell you everything. But yeah. We so, know it's from Cake Boss. So we'll come back once we're gonna add the mix in. Okay, so just so that we don't make a mess like we usually do, um, we are going to be showing how we put it in the, the batter in here. And yes, you can obviously do it on your own, but us sisters, we are gonna do it together. So we would recommend using a really big bag, plastic baggie just use whatever you have but we um us being um totally professional that could be totally um we would prefer using a bigger one we don't actually do this often we only do it for frosting and stuff but i guess today is we're gonna be cleaner so so you can also you can also use a normal piping bag or a professional cook, not like us. So, um, so what my sister, what we have. So what my sister did here, she put this ziplock bag inside the cup. Um, 
And the inside, and we're gonna be putting the cake batter in here. Yes. So I'll might do half, and my sister might do the other. So I'm gonna just do that. Mm -hmm. Trying not to spill. Oh, we may actually have we may actually have enough space to fit the full batter in there. And if we don't, we can obviously reuse it. I think that's um my pull the sides of the bag up. And this will just make it easier for us to add the full batter. Yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was looking for the spin for a second. Okay, um now my sister will be scooping out the rest because this is this is cake. We can't we can't leave anything behind. Yeah, cake is cake. Cake is special. Cake. If you don't like cake, you're just weird, and weird is special. And if you're special, you're you're uh, you're beautiful. Just, yes, you're beautiful. <laughs> and if you're you? like me and my sisters that are weird all the time, and we don't know what we're saying most of the time making these videos. You're beautiful and weird, like us. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna have to try taking out as much air too as possible. <laughs> it did not break though. Lucky us, it did not break because we are lucky. Oh, it actually didn't break. And this is not, this is not, this is not plastic. So, lucky for us it did not break. Wow, that was scary. I literally turned red as a cherry. <laughs> so well, this is a Ziploc bag with the baking powder, baking mix. Um, we'll We're gonna be making a hole real quick, so be ready. As you guys can see, we have some scissors here. Uh, make oh. sure to let a bit of the batter out here. My sister, be careful. Just a really small hole, not that big. Yes. And now my sister will be adding it in and we may have to make a bigger hole eventually maybe but we are going to do this um make sure to leave a bit of excess above it like don't fill the whole mold up because it will rise the cake batter it will rise so it will become more puffier and larger so well, it depends how much mix you have. But either way, we, us being the overprotective people, um, are obviously going to not fill it up fully. So, B and B. Okay, my sister's helping me because I'm a noob. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and because she doesn't trust me because I'm the youngest. Well, for now. <laughs> so... Yeah, a little bit more, Myra. About that much? Yeah, and now we're gonna just change it over here. Oh, this is actually turning out cool. <laughs> I had a little toot. Uh, we don't know if you actually heard that, but like it went like a little bit. Like when you get a, when you run out of syrup. Okay, so. A little bit more, and we That's think, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. That's okay. No, it's okay. because it was falling. No, let me school a little My bit. My sister's more. gonna do that one. Cause again, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm sorry if that wasn't funny. To me it was. And we're just squeezing out as much batter as possible in the last one. Wow, we should actually like put in a ziplock bag every time. Right. <laughs> No, I can do it without messing up my hands. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so. <sighs> trying to get as much better out as I can. And of course, we have a little bit more batter there, a little bit. Yeah, so we can take that one out. And this is the final product. Um, as you can see, we didn't make a mess. So if you guys are like mm -hmm. noobs like me, uh, <laughs> At cooking, I'm not saying my sister's a pro, but she is a little bit better at pa baking pastries than me. Um, now we're gonna tap it on here, like just. Do you do it like that? <laughs> do it like this? Not like you are.
Okay, so I think that's okay. Um, we're gonna go to, to the oven now. Um, we are going, we preheated our oven when we started to 350 degrees um, Fahrenheit. We put it that, mm, we put it in the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are going to leave it in there. And if you guys have an oven, which you will need one, of course, um, you will need to put a timer. Um, our oven, literally, like when it's done, it literally beeps. We don't really know, but like if you guys are making this mix, it, we don't really know the time to tell you how long to leave it in there. But the we average, would, but we would say. Um, to read the instructions or the average um, time we leave it in there is like from 10 to 15 minutes or like or like sometimes 10 to 14 minutes. So we will be back and we will put them in the oven and, and, we'll, and we'll be back once we're ready to decorate them. Did you use a camera on? No. You lost a camera on. So I just took them out of the oven. <laughs> As you can see, they're puffy. I poked this one a lot with. So as you can see, I took them out of the oven and I poked this one specifically, like, like three, no, like two times to check if they were ready. Um, this took like, um, let me see. About 20 minutes yeah. or so. Yeah, like these took 20 minutes to bake. Um, right now, I'm going to take them out with this because they're like a bit hot. But yeah, so we're, I'm going to take out this one. As you can see, it got out really quickly. Now I will be taking it out. My sister will be placing it on the cooling rack right here that we have set up. So... I'm gonna take another one out. If you wanna see the process of me doing this, so I just put it in one of these like boundaries or stuff or thing. And like I just pull up a bit. And since we had like butter, it's a little bit like stuck a little bit. Yeah. But because like butter isn't specifically made for this. Yeah, see it came out like puffy and perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I burned myself. Oh, how did you burn yourself with a mitten? No, I burned myself here with this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so that was comedy, but that hurt. Okay, so we'll come back once all of them are out. Out. As you guys can see, we finally took them all out, and so you guys can see we did not cheat or anything. They and of course my hands are um clean. clean. They did come out like ruffly and stuff, so they do look fancy. So. Another tip, if you guys are making a party thing and you guys want to be fancy, instead of ordering, of course you can order the cake frosting. Hashtag not sponsor. Yes. So the frosting we'll be using is this type of frosting. It has sprinkles on top. And it's like vanilla confetti frosting. And we will only be decorating two because usually our mom and dad also really like this. So they like eating it. But, you, but we usually make it without frosting, so... We're only going to be making like two with frosting and then just the rest without because they don't really like that much sugar. So we will be doing that. That is some really good looking glossy frosting. My sister will be opening the sprinkles. And of course we have more sprinkles if we want to spice things up a bit, but we prefer using those ones. Ooh, I have not eaten this type of frosting in a while. In fact, I have not eaten frosting in a while. So, and we don't really order this type or anything. So, this would be interesting. Okay, so here's the frosting. Um, it got stuck on the sprinkles, which I spilled <laughs> when I we put it up here. Um, my sister put a little bit on them on here. So, we're just going to be spreading the frosting around and then we're just going to be sprinkling some sprinkles on there so yeah and for fanciness we just sprinkled a bit of sprinkles so i will go first yeah sure okay so i'm gonna uh, take a little bit of the frosting or icing or whatever and then i'll just splatter it on there <laughs> splop it 
I'm gonna be using less icing. Um, again, we're just gonna be doing it on two. Um, we're just gonna be like cutting one and like showing you guys the inside and all, the finished product. Don't cut for us, at least it's delicious. Yes, please. We haven't actually tasted um, and this with frosting, so this will be an experience as well. Or at least I haven't. So as you can see, I already like spread it around. Um, maybe a two. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make like a swirly effect on here like that. Just try to make it look a bit cute and stuff, so. And I think I'm done. So now I will add sprinkles, but first my sister will add her frosting. Yes, of course. So I'm gonna try taking not that much frosting, but just enough. So <laughs> Sorry, I don't like much frosting. I'm not really of a sugar person. My sister does have a big of a sweet tooth. In fact, comment down below if we figure out how to turn on the comments. Or like this video if you have a big sugar tooth. And subscribe if you don't have that much of a sugar tooth like me. Or subscribe anyways, because we would really like that. Oh, and share this video, please. And if you guys hate us, you can dislike. But just don't comment. Like, we're not... We're not, we're trying to be positive, but like, we would like it if you didn't comment something bad because that's, that's rude. Like, yeah, we get it, you don't like our video, but like, if you don't like it, then just get off our continent and remove us from your page. No. It's that easy. Yeah, you can dislike and say whatever you want, but like, just don't comment or say things like, OMG, this happened and this happened and blah, blah, blah. So here are the sprinkles. Um, you can either watch my sister with the finished product, but I'm gonna just take like a little bit. Oh my gosh, my finger touched. Those. Mine looks more perfect than yours. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a pinch of sprinkles and I'm gonna just sprinkle it up on here. And so will I. Like that. I'm just gonna take a few. <laughs> I'm gonna do some serious um, placing here. I am. Not a perfect person, but this is a video, so <laughs> I did try making it to look perfect. By the way, even though they never even gave us permission to give them shout outs, we really like these YouTubers. I like Megan Plays and Honey the Unicorn, so I would like it if you guys showed them some support and liked their videos or at least viewed their videos. And we both really like It's Funny. Yeah. So we, we like It's Funny Golden Glare the Lun Lunar Eclipse. It's Dragonite Dragon and and um, painting rainbows or white rainbows white teeth. So we would like it if you went to subscribe, especially it's funny and the crew, because their continent is the best in our opinion. If you don't think their continent is good, just don't go follow them or whatever. Again, our TikTok will be linked in the description below on every single one of our videos, or at least we'll try to. So stay tuned for that. Or we'll just tell you them right now. Mine, mine, Judy here. Um, my TikTok is roses are underscore red too. I do a lot of artsy stuff and painting stuff down there. I also started my own series, Princess Object series. If you want to follow along with the series, please make sure to follow me. And if you guys want to know mine, um, mine is actually Little Legends are real, but in the middle of Little Legends um, is only one L. I had another account that was Little Legends. If you guys want to know more information about that, though, um, we would... That would be on our first video we ever made. We do not have a link though. But if you guys go to our channel, then you will see our information and blah, blah, blah. And you guys can also see what we do on here. But for further ado, I actually, um, um, my, mine has a profile picture of a bow because there was two accounts 
there was there was another account that had two L's. That one was me, but I don't have that account anymore because I forgot to delete it because of how noob I am. Um, and so I'm creating a border right now, like forward back strokes, and I'm gonna do. Let's see, forward. You might not look at it. It might not look that pretty, but like. She likes a lot of frosting. Yeah. A lot. And you of could be disgusted. You could be um, satisfied. Like, just by looking at hers, like, my tooth is already hurting. Like, uh, that's so much frosting. I don't know. I might take a little bit out. Just a little bit. Because, yeah, why not? Um, but, yeah. Oh, and on my TikTok, I just play Roblox. I also do jelly fruits. Um,. I have not been doing Jelly Fruit Thursday. You guys may be following me and thinking, why is she doing Jelly Fruit Thursday like she says she would? Well, I am not doing Jelly Fruit Thursday because um, sometimes I forget. And right now, these few days, I have been a bit busy. So that is why. So I am very sorry. But when I occupy myself, I will try posting as much as I possibly can. And if you guys want to be in more of our videos, we will be posting a lot in one day. Or we will be trying to. So we would like it if you guys stay tuned to our channel and share this with your friends. If you want to see the swirl technique that I'm using, it's just like grab your spatula or butter knife or whatever you're using with the frosting. Just touch swirl, touch swirl touch swirl touch swirl and um, yeah i feel like mine looks better <laughs> not putting any hate out there okay so that's enough for me i might add a bit more sprinkles though <laughs> look at that shine Mm -hmm. uh, Comment down below which one looks better or which one you would eat. Even though they would taste the same, that one would have more icing on course stomach. Which one would you eat? Mine? If you want to do mine, I would recommend. If you guys are voting for mine, you guys can comment down below my rep. Or you guys can like this video. Or if you guys would prefer my sisters, comment down below. Comment down below. It's frosting... Frosting Mayhem. Or you can subscribe. Okay. And if you like bowls, you can subscribe and view and like all of our videos if you want. Yes. So, or you can subscribe, like, and share this video. So, we're gonna, so we're going to take our lovely spatula. And we're going to cut them. My sister's going to cut hers, and I'm going to cut mine. And then, um... And then I will taste hers, and she will taste mine, and then we will vote which is better or not. And then, of course, we'll drink milk because this is bread. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to get It's falling. It's falling. So here it is. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Now let's cut mine, the one that actually has evenly placed um, sprinkles and less frosting. Hope you like my setup. Ooh, I think mine looks better. I don't know. Okay, so I'm not trying to brag or anything. Okay, so Mario can have this part and no one will have this part. Okay. So, I'm going to taste my sister's. And I guess I'll taste my my sister's. <sighs> I'm not trying to be over dramatic, but I just don't like frosting. Mm. I don't really like my sister's. Oh, That's too much sprinkles. I like my sister's. It's good. Mm. But mm -hmm. it has a bit too much frosting. I'm going to taste mine now. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, taste mine now. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to taste mine now. It's mine. I've been 
dry, but it's I think it's good. Just because it doesn't have too much sugar like my sister's, but my sister's is a bit more moisture than mine. So, both, out of both of them, if I ate nor the normal cake, the normal piece without anything, which I norm normally do because we usually don't add this, the frosting and stuff, it would be moist. Like, if you put a covering over it, um, the moist will build up like up here if you like moist like cake. The moistness will build up here will be like moist so that when you took a bite into it, the inside will be dry and the outside will have a lot of flavor. Especially because it's vanilla cake and whenever I used to like make them and we would put a cover on them and like it would cover the surface of the cake with like a moisture, like with like a moisture cover covering, it would taste like really good. And, like I, I highly recommend adding six eggs and instead of water milk. Or you can add water, you can add water, milk, oil, as many eggs as you want. And yeah, that's what you can do. Or you can do it our style, which is adding six eggs oil and milk we were going to add water but then in the end we were like mm, maybe water no maybe milk would be better no i always add milk mm -hmm. so if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe like hit the, like hit the notification bell to be notified whenever you post a new video and again shout out to our cousin again and everyone who actually supports us, we actually want to give a shout out to you. So, whoever is watching this and like this video, but if you just like this video because we're basically giving a shout out to whoever liked this video, um, it's sort of cheating, but we'll still give you a shout out as well. Whoever liked and viewed or whatever this video or the last videos or whatever, we want to give a shout out to you for supporting us on our first three videos. If you want to, if you want to follow us in more adventures, um, you, in other websites like TikTok, you could follow us at. Mine is Little Legends Are Real, and in the middle of Little Legends, it's just one L. And you could follow me at, at Roses Are Red, at Roses Are Underscore Red too. Okay, guys, I think that's where we're gonna end this video. Bye. And don't forget to comment which one you would rather eat, my sister's or mine. Bye.